wanted to make a real quick video on how to update the green screen selection templates. That's the screen and the print template. Uh, this is something I get questioned about quite a bit. Uh, so right here we have the template. We're going to go ahead and click edit. And we're going to swap this image out for, we have three images saved into a folder on my desktop under backgrounds. So swap that out. Do the same thing for this one, and then same thing for the third one. So these are three buttons. Um, then what we'll want to do is also update the image that's behind the live view, the graphic list. So we're going to double click on that, click edit, and remove all three, and then click add, select all three, and then click open. So now that up that graphic list has been updated to match up with these buttons. Uh, we'll go ahead and click Save As, and we'll call it V2 for version two, so we don't save over the original copy. The next thing we're going to want to do is go into the print template, click Choose, and then Edit and then do the same thing to this graphic list. Remove, add, select the three images, update, OK, save as, and then save as version 2. And that's how you update uh, the graphic lists in the green screen selection templates. Uh, I know I went through it real quick. Uh, rewind it. Watch it again. If you have any questions, we're happy to help. Give us a call. Darkroom support. Eugene Wise signing out. Howdy, Boothers. Eugene here with Darkroom Software. I got a quick add-on to yesterday's video. What we're going to do is we're going to add on another button and a fourth graphic. Let's go ahead and get started. Click Edit. Go ahead and select all three of these, holding down Control. And click these guys. Hold down Control again and move them out of the way so we can make a little bit of room for the fourth graphic. Copy, paste. That's Control C, Control V. Looks like we might need just a little bit more room. And right there, double click on it, browse, select the new graphic. And then we're going to make sure that we set the button to choose uh, the fourth graphic in the graphic list. Double click on the graphic list and make sure we add that fourth graphic into the list. And we're going to go ahead and save it. And then update the graphic list on the print template as well. So we have one, two, three, four. And we're updated. Tomorrow's uh, quick tip video. We'll be going over adding uh, overlays um, that go along with those uh, green screen selection buttons. Thanks. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Hi, guys. I had a customer ask me um, a question recently on how to get different images on the print, all green screen, and also update the live view so it shows us the images behind the live view. Um, and the answer is a little bit complicated, so I want to make this video and share it with you, um, how you would go about doing that. A uh, couple things first, I'm going to show you a couple tricks um, that we have here. Um, what we're going to do is to uh, line these up, you can see they're almost lined up, but not quite perfect. I'm going to hold down control click on, uh, or I'm going to click on photo 2 and then hold down control 
and click on graphic to right click and then uh, make the same position and size and you'll see that the photos start lining up with the graphics. So the graphics are actually spaced properly. So same thing. There goes photo three and then photo number four. So that's one little trick that I wanted to show you. Another one is uh, this graphic that I'm using as a background. This one's actually included in your software, um, but you're, you'll be uh, familiar with it looking more like that. What I've done is added a um, effect right here, add effect, set to uh, negate RGB values. And so it's just turning it into a negative. So we'll go ahead and um, fit and fill entire page. Okay, so let's look at this. Graphic one right here. We're gonna, what we're going to want to do is uh, set this to when shown. Uh, we're going to do custom. Actually, what we'll do is set to never and then custom so it's easier to check. So we'll set it for before and after up to photo one. And then click OK. That one's done. Um, next thing we'll do is click copy, paste, paste, paste. So we have three uh, duplicates. This one is now going to be photo number two. And we'll set the when shown to be before and after photo two. And before and after photo four. And just kind of organize things so they uh, show up behind the live view. And looks like I forgot to do update this one with photo four. There we go. So as it'll go through, uh, it'll uh, switch to this one, turn it off, and then reveal this one. This one will turn on, and then this one will turn off, and we'll go to photo three, and this one will turn on. Um, I hope that's helpful. Um, please share and like uh, if you uh, gained any knowledge from this. Have a great day. Bye. Hi, guys. Welcome to part three of our green screen selection update videos. What we're going to do in this video is uh, we're going to add on a overlay graphic that will update with our green screen selections. So uh, we're in the print template now. You can go ahead and copy the background graphic and then paste it. Control C, Control V. I have a duplicate now. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it and click Edit. And then remove those four graphics and click Add and select these four graphics that I have on a uh, folder on my desktop and click OK and I'm leaving the name the same so that it updates with those buttons. And uh, The thing I'm going to change is uh, I'm going to select Use Image Alpha Channel. Um, that will allow us to see through that transparency uh, layer uh, to the background and have our green screen image sandwiched in between the background JPEG and the foreground PNG. So we're going to go ahead and click Save and choose. And then we're going to do the same thing for the screen template. Edit, copy, paste, double click, edit, remove, add, select all four, click OK, OK, use image alpha channel, and OK. And we're going to move this back in the list so it's behind the countdown right in front of the live view so graphic live view graphic click save and then uh, last thing is uh, we need to test it out um, a good friend of mine stopped by to help us test okay we're going to go ahead and click on 
that one, that one, that one. So interesting thing about this one is I didn't want to have a additional graphic. So the PNG that we used was blank. So those three have a graphic. And this one we left a blank placeholder so that it keeps the order correct. One, two, three, and four. Hope this has been helpful. Um, thanks a bunch. Happy holidays. Eugene, signing out.